topic let's talk about how we can evaluate an algebraic expression so 5m plus 2n square this is an expression and of course this is not an equation why there is no equal sign we have to find out the value of this but we cannot find the value of this unless it's given m is given and n is given these are unknown so we are lucky that m and n both are given so how do we substitute we have to substitute this one to find the value of it so i'm going to do five open parentheses close parentheses plus two open parentheses close parentheses and square notice that i left it blank where is the variable i left it blank so m is two so that is where two comes to play and n is negative two so that is where negative two is coming to play make sure we use this technique we must open a parenthesis otherwise if you have a negative number you're substituting if you don't open a parenthesis your answer is going to be wrong okay so then we look into this and find out how do we do next you can actually plug this in your calculator and it's going to give you the answer or we can do it manually by using the pemdas by using the pemdas okay so parentheses we don't have much to do in the parentheses then we do the next exponent so yes we so we see an exponent so i'm going to do it step by step and uh, some of you say well i can put down 10 yes you can or you can carry down five times two as it is and let's do the 10 okay let's do the 10 here all right plus two times negative two square is four and then now exponent is gone then the multiplication comes to play okay so this guy i'm going to take care of okay so 10 plus 8 4 times 2 is 8 and that will give me 18 and at the end we can just add or subtract at the same time okay very good let's go to the move to the next one okay so next one is basically also similar so well look at this here I want to make sure that we understand it we open a parenthesis and there is a plus in between and we just open a parenthesis so what is the arrow let's take a look here guys this is the plus we have to really carry that down okay otherwise our answer is going to be wrong so m is given as a negative 3 okay I can use n as a negative 3 and n is two and obviously there is a plus after that and phi is equal to negative eight okay you can type this the way it is now in the calculator you can get your answer or we do the femda so what is the femda the next one is multiplication so we multiply these two guys together okay so two times negative three which is negative six plus negative eight well I just left it I could have done negative 8 actually without a plus so this time I'm going to do plus times minus we earlier video we showed that if different answer you multiply is going to give you negative so negative 6 minus 8 and your answer shouldn't be negative 14 that's the answer for this one okay very good I hope you understand okay the next one I'm going to do here is same way basically so find the value of x in the formula is given right so whatever is the value is given we just have to substitute just like that we just substitute like that 5 is for y and 6 is for k notice that this time we have a positive we have a positive number so this time if you don't really open a parenthesis you still can survive easily it's, your answer is going to be fine okay so two open parentheses y is five plus six sorry i meant plus three we carry it down open parentheses k in this case is six minus two and then we use just we do the fam thus okay order of operation that will give us we do the inside parentheses first so we do two open parentheses eight close parentheses four now 
we multiply 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 4 is 64. 64. That's the answer. That's the value of x. Okay, so that's how actually we evaluate algebraic expression. So I hope you understand. Thank you very much for watching this video.